Hi everyone. Today we're going to be walking through how to plant, grow, and divide peonies. And I absolutely love peony flowers. They're my favorite late spring blooms. They're big, blousy, over-the-top flowers and sweet fragrance transports me back into my grandma's garden. She had dozens of peonies growing along her driveway, and I'm so thankful to have a division of those peonies in the garden right next to us today. And that's really the wonderful thing about peonies. They will grow and flower for decades when planted correctly. So let's plant some bare root peonies together today. Bare root peonies should be planted in the fall or the very early spring. They should be sited in an area that receives full sun, has rich, well-draining soil, and most importantly, the eyes or the growth points right here coming from the root itself should be buried with one and a half to two inches of soil. If a peony root is buried too deeply or sited in deep shade, it will produce foliage, but it will fail to flower properly. And peonies perform best in zones three through eight with a soil pH of 6.5 to seven. And ideally they should experience at least 60 days of cold winter temperatures in order to flower with great abundance. Now with all that being said, let's get to planting one of these bare root peonies together. So to start, let's loosen the area where the peony root is going to be planted and amend the planting hole with some compost. I wanna dig out an area that's about one and a half times the width of the peony root and then go ahead and amend that soil accordingly. So now we'll just add some compost to this area. Now we can put our peony root in the hole and as I look at the eyes, I remember that I want them to be covered with only one and a half to two inches of soil. So really, it's a very shallow planting depth for peonies. Now these eyes here have started to sprout, so I'm not gonna use those as a guide. I'm going to use these eyes that are still red and have just started to emerge. Now that I have the eyes covered with about one and a half to two inches of soil, I'll mulch around the peony, being careful to not mulch on top of the peony because once again, that can cause the peony root to become buried too deeply and fail to flower. Now I'll just water our peony root in really well. And peony roots will grow quite large as the years go on. Most cultivars reach a height and width of three by three feet. So either give them lots of room to grow so that they have really good airflow around the plant or just plan to move surrounding perennials to an alternative location as the years go on. Now, if you're growing peonies and rows for cut flower production, the general rule of thumb is to space your plants 24 inches apart in rows that are 18 inches apart. Now it does take peonies a few years to really become well-rooted and established in your garden. So don't worry if the first year after planting, you only see foliage. And the second year, you may only receive one or two flowers. That's completely normal. But after year three and moving onward, you'll really have that wonderful abundance of blooms that only gets better as the years go on. And speaking of the years going on, peonies can grow quite large as the years go on. And often they benefit from some kind of a support system. You can purchase support systems on Amazon that are specific to peonies. You can also just stick stakes around your peonies and corral them. Or what I like to do is use them as cut flowers. Since peonies are supposed to be cut in bud stage when their heads feel like a soft marshmallow, you're really cutting the blooms before they have a chance to get top heavy in the garden and cause the blooms to fall over, sometimes hitting the dirt itself. And you can even store peonies dry for weeks by picking them in that marshmallow bud stage, wrapping them in brown paper and laying them in your refrigerator. When you want to use the peonies, simply remove them from storage, but keep them wrapped, recut the stem ends, and rehydrate them in a bucket of water. In a few hours, they'll look just like they were freshly cut from the garden. 
After many years or even decades have passed, you may want to divide your peonies. And here I am with a division of the peony that we were just next to a second ago behind us. If you want to divide your peonies, it's best to do this in the fall. Start by cutting off all the foliage at ground level. Then dig and lift the entire root from the ground. Next, spray the root down with water to remove most of the soil so you can clearly see where the eyes are. Next, look for a place where it might be possible to pull the clump apart or use a sharp knife to divide it into sections. Each division should have at least three to five eyes and a healthy mass of roots. Divisions with less than three eyes will grow, but it may be several years before the plant produces flowers. Then repeat the planting steps we talked about earlier and you'll be surrounded by peony blooms in your garden in no time at all. Now peonies bloom in the late spring into the early summer and after the blooms fade it's important to leave the foliage in the garden to replenish the root system for the following years. Once the first frost comes in October, November, or even December, depending on where you live, simply clean up the dead peony foliage to prevent the spread of disease. Lastly, since peony season is relatively short, consider planting an early, mid, and late season peony to really extend the peony show. Happy gardening. Bye.